Israel's Prime Minister has pledged to curb harassment and discrimination after complaints over the behaviour of ultra-Orthodox Jews. Police intervened when this TV crew was set upon by one group as the journalists investigated a case of alleged abuse. Their car was stoned, a reporter wounded and equipment stolen. The town of Beit Shemesh near Jerusalem is under the spotlight after an eight-year-old girl complained of being threatened by ultra-Orthodox men over her dress. The graffiti says, Israeli women, the Torah demands that you dress modestly. We'll just walk a little bit, OK? Nama Magulezi says she's been spat at on the way to school. Do you want to walk just a little bit? No. No? Activists have also been challenging cases of gender segregation on public transport. They've started openly defying a tradition which sees women sit in the back of the bus. The head of an ultra-Orthodox group in Jerusalem defends the practice. A kosher woman is first of all judged by her modesty, he says. If she's sitting in the rear of a bus, there's no shame, no humiliation. It doesn't mean she's less worthy, she's simply being modest. This is the behavior of a real Jewish woman. Last week saw a demonstration against segregation and calling for more visibility for women in Israel. The ultra-Orthodox make up about 10% of the population, but their influence has been growing. The mayor of Beit Shemesh has estimated that up to 50 people have been involved in the abuse of the eight-year-old.